Let me tell you a story about an old student of mine called Charlie. He had one final assignment before graduating from film school. He had to edit a high quality car commercial. Charlie possessed a great set of editing skills, but when it came down to editing music, everything fell apart. So I quickly realized that without my help, he would never pass his exam, which means he would never graduate. So the first thing that I had to help him with was mixing the voice and music together, just like in this example. So let's hop in the car and drive as fast as possible. As you can hear, the music is a little too loud. Before we turn down the volume, find the parametric equalizer in the effects library. Drag it onto the music clip and go to the effects controls. Then click on edit to open up the EQ. And here you can see the entire frequency spectrum from low to high. Every sound a human can hear in the entire world sits in this spectrum. Now the prominent parts of the voice are sitting around 1000 and 1250 hertz. So take a band and drag it down something like minus 10 dB. Make the bandwidth a little smaller to narrow down the frequency range. Enable the high pass filter band and cut away a small portion of the lows. And that will make room for the power frequencies of the voice. Now, if you want more detail, enable the low pass band and cut away some of the high frequencies. So let's hop in the car and drive as fast as possible. After following these steps, you can turn down the volume of the music if it's still too loud. So let's hop in the car and drive as fast as possible. This song is so good. I actually downloaded it from audio more about them later. Now, Charlie's project was already looking better, but there was still one problem. The music underneath the video was way too short, and he was just copying and pasting the track. Don't do this. Instead, select the part of the song that you want to make longer, for example, the chorus. Once you have it, right-click it and choose Remix, then enable Remix. Right here, you can choose how long you want the song to be. Let's Premiere do its thing, and look at that. I mean, listen to that. Now at the end of the clip, you can cut the audio off or you can do something else, such as adding reverb at the end of the song, but it's not as easy as it sounds. You know, first find a spot to put the reverb on. For example, add a snare, a drum, or a clap like this. Set a cut, then hold Ctrl and click the audio curve to create a keyframe. Create another one and cut the audio right after that snare off. Now make sure that you leave enough space after the cut, and this will become clear in a second. Find the convolutional reverb in the effects library and put it onto the clip. Why not the studio reverb, Jordy? Well, the convolutional reverb can emulate rooms more accurately, so it's a personal preference. But of course, you can choose whichever one you like. Now set the presets to bitter hallway, and now open up the impulse menu and choose hall. Set the mix to something around 50%. This will make the audio lose a little loudness, so to make up for that, increase the gain. And now it sounds like this. The reverb plays for the length of the clip. That's why we extended it a little bit. But now we have reverb, which is much better than just cutting off a clip. And by the way, I also downloaded this music track from Audio. They have a huge music catalog and sound effect library. Oh, and they're also sponsoring today's video. Now, finding my music there is super easy. With the filter controls, just select a mood for your video, choose a genre, or you can use other filters to find exactly what you need. You know, for sound effects, just type in what you need. For example, a car. You can also narrow down the search results with the suggestion just the terms. So they have everything when it comes down to music or sound effects. But Jordi, I don't want to think about copyright and licensing and all that kind of stuff. Well, you don't have to. Audio Pro will take care of that. The only thing that you need to put on your mind is to create stuff. Once you downloaded something from their library during your subscription period, it is yours to stay forever. Now soon there will also be a beautiful and awesome mobile app that lets you browse through the huge music and sound effects catalog, create playlists and download on the go. You know, it's actually something that I love to do while shooting, just kind of like find a certain track that I want to go for and just listen to it while I'm shooting it. It puts your camera work in the same vibe of the song. It's really awesome. And if you're still paying attention right here, good job because I have another surprise for you. For a super limited time, Audio is offering a lifetime membership for just $199, which is insane. You pay one price and you get lifetime access to their entire catalog. Wow. So definitely join 80,000 other filmmakers who've already discovered audio by clicking the link in the description down below, guys. Go click it. Now, I went away to grab a quick coffee, and when I came back, I saw Charlie adding music to the driving car. Now, it didn't sound like the music was coming from that car at all, and this is how he fixed it eventually. Find the parametric equalizer in the effects library and drag it onto the audio. Head over to the effects controls and click edit. Enable the low pass band and cut away a huge part of the high to mid frequencies. This will create the illusion that the music is coming from out of the car. 
more than when you're at a party, for example, and you're like in the bathroom and then music is coming from the living room, you know, you kind of get that same feeling, vibe. <laughs> now, to make the music match the car's movement, right-click the FX icon on the clip, choose Spanner and enable the balance curve. Now, hold down Ctrl and click to create a keyframe. Now, drag it up to the top left and create another keyframe, then move that one to the bottom right. And now the music goes from left to right as the car passes, so you kind of get that stereo vibe going on in there. Now Charlie was doing good work, but then all of a sudden he got a phone call from his teacher. He was reminding Charlie that he couldn't mess this up, because otherwise he would never graduate from film school. And he still needed to edit the video on the beat of the music. Luckily I was there to help him. Let me show it to you. Move the playhead to the beginning of your clip and make sure nothing is selected. Then press play and set markers on the beat of the music by pressing M on your keyboard. Head over to the project window where all the car clips are stored, rearrange them so that they are in the correct order for the car commercial, then select all of them and click the automate to sequence button. Now in this window make sure that the order is set to sort order. For the placement of the clip select add unnumbered markers and then click ok. Now look at that, in just a few seconds the car commercial is ready and cut to the beat. Now, do you know what happened next to Charlie? Well, he graduated and now he's working in a grocery shop because he didn't have prior experience on his resume and nobody wanted to hire him. Yeah, welcome to the film industry. Now, knowing how to edit music is useful, but if you want to take these skills to the next level, you need to combine them with the audio tricks from the video here on my left. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out audio. Link is in the description down below. And as always, stay creative.